Okay, now let's configure this again to make sure everything is working correctly. The DevSecOps, the, the GitHub hook trigger for git scm polling, and then we have the bash file.sh. Okay, okay. Now let's click it here. So if we receive anything, it will trigger the, the, the build and it will build the job. So if I read deliver here to check if it is really, it will trigger it. No, I think I need to push something to it. So let's put anything actually from the console. It's okay. So let's um, add a file, create a new file, for example, or let's edit to this file. So let's edit from here. I know this is just a symbol. It's okay. So let's put it. This is version one, another one. Okay. So like this, another line. This is version one. And let's commit. So which means that I pushed to the main branch, as you can see, the main branch. So, all right. All right. All right. Now you can see that we have one bending that finished. Now you can see that it has been triggered, as you can see. And it has been triggered actually because of the get SCM, because we pushed to the branch, which is the main branch. So we pushed to the main branch, we sent from GitHub, we sent a GitHub um, push event. So we sent a push event to the Jenkins, to the load balancer, then the load balancer proxy it to the internal Jenkins, and Jenkins received it. So, and it triggered the test job here, as you can see. Because I didn't press the build now, actually it built automatically. Okay, now actually if I click here why it is failed, because as you can see, you couldn't find any revision to build, which is the verify the repository master branch for this, which is the master branch. Okay, so you can see that the default one is main, not master. So I need to provide, so configure from here. It's okay, so simple. And from instead of master, it will be main. As simple as that. Let's save that. Okay, so let's build it for now. Yeah, it worked correctly. If I click on it, you can see that we have hello, this is version one, hello, this is version two. Or this is version one, the second line. Okay, so far so good. All right. So again, let's put another thing here, a third line, for example. Um so simple, no, no big deal. Okay, so as you can see, I am commit directly, which means I push directly to the main branch commit. So if I go here and wait a little bit, you can see that the third build has been issued or has been completed as, as well, because it triggered by the GitHub event, which is the push event. Okay, now so far so good. So for example, after you merge to a specific branch, you pushed to the master, you need to pull it, you need to start running the testing, the exec execute linter, execute the syntax, uh, whatever, execute the testing or whatever, then go to push it to the, or deploy it to the staging server, then to the testing, then until we reach the production, or we can just manually deploy to production by the senior dev developer or the senior DevOps. Anyway, it's okay. But for now, I'm just teaching you the skills and the way how to do it. Okay, now this is for the events, like the bush, for example. But if I want to open a PR here, okay? So from here, pull request, I need to create a new PR, okay? But how to do that, actually? This is this is not the, the same thing as the GitHub hook trigger for a CM, okay? Again, you need to go to the manage Jenkins. Actually, this is a plugin. You need to, to install it from the manage plugins. From here, on, on the available, click on PR or pull request. You can see that now we have this plugin, which is GitHub pull request builder. But you can see that this plugin version may not be safe to use. Actually, it has a lot of security issues and so on. But sometimes it can be handy, actually. Depends on the usage and depends in how you to use it or whatever. Okay, so for now, let's install it like this. Install without restart. Let's wait a little bit. Now, let's go to the Jenkins, to the test job. Now, let's go to the configure. Let's scroll down until we reach this. Now, this time, we will see a new field, and this called 
github pull request builder all right so if i click on it you can see that we have a lot of things actually the anonymous connection build the advanced you can see trigger phrase only use when for build trigger and you can see that we have a lot of options a lot of things actually to be considered so like build every pull request automatically without asking and you can see that this is dangerous and you can provide a lot of information a lot of thinning things a lot of regions and here you can put the whitelist and even you can put it to be run on a cron tab line so you can see on every one hour every one week or whatever even though we didn't trigger it manually and we have the admin list as well all right now how to check if this working correctly well actually the best thing yeah the first thing i i need to check that and save it as simple as that but actually it's better to go to manage jenkins to the to the plugins itself now yeah it starts showing us uh, warning and errors so let's go to the manage plugins from the available here or the installed one let's scroll down until we reach the one we yeah the one with the error with the warning so which is the github so if i click on it actually it will go directly to the official documentation and here you can see that they described everything in details how to install it how to configure it how to see it how to run it okay so the first thing as you can see when we creating the job so we need to add the github url the github project this is the first important thing select the git scm then we add the github repo url then under the advanced the ref spec we need to add this thing okay so this will go and will make so to capture the br okay so let's copy it and let's go here again to the test to the configure let's scroll down until we reach the github as you can see here you can see that it is under the advanced so i need to go to the advanced and here the ref spec i need to copy and paste that which is the something here and actually if you have a look at it you can see that it is something for the br that opened okay so anyway you can just copy and paste it or if you want to use the actual commit you can see that in the branch specifier you can enter this thing or if you want to use the actual commit to pull request use this okay actually i will use this actually let's copy that and let's put it here instead of the main like this but again here if i save it yeah actually i think it is done yeah so here, yeah this is from the build triggers we already did that we already did it actually okay now actually if i save that and if i run now you can see that it will not work and the problem is because it will show you that this branch name it's not existed as you can see verify the repository and branch configuration because this branch actually is arbitrary this will be triggered only or it will has meaning only when we receive the pull request from the github now let's find out how to see that all right now how to do that we need to go to the settings as well and to the webhooks again and we need to add a url okay so actually let's copy that yeah but it will be changed yeah of course now let's add a webhook and let's put it here and yeah as json no secret send me everything activate but this time i will not put it as a github webhook but this time instead of github webhook i will choose the ghpr hook okay which is the github bull request hook okay and here is the thing okay so g so let's so show it again ghbr p hook okay well actually it's no big deal you can google it you can find it again just what is the url for the bull request you can find it in the documentation by the way so if i add it here now let's click on it let's re-deliver that i think it, it has been reached yeah actually you can see that it has been reached so yeah to the github yes let's deliver you can see that it is 200 which means that it's okay yeah we receive it so if i click here you can see that we will trigger now this now remember when we failed on the fourth build so this time yeah let's close that from that this time let's open a pr actually but I guess I don't have another branch, so let's create a new branch. It's okay. So let's create a new file, for example. 
and this file I need it to be to a new branch okay and this branch I will no name it branch 2 okay and this file will be file 2 and inside it echo this is file 2 okay so and let's name it file 2.sh okay it's okay anything no no big deal now let's propose a new file and I will name it branch2 and I will create a pull request for it okay so you can see that if I refresh nothing here okay no triggered the only on the number four the fourth build only so if I click here we create a pull request between the branch2 and the main now it has been created you can see that it has been continuous integration has not been set up okay so if I go here again let's refresh that you can see that it is not working now how to investigate why is this happening so the first thing let's go to the Jenkins logs okay so from here many Jenkins let's go to the system logs okay now this is the most important thing now let's scroll until we reach uh, to check if we have a problem so you can see that we received the push event no problem as you can see from here and you can see that we are checking the BR for this but after that nothing happened okay so let's return back here Let's go to the configure. Actually, you can see that we forget to click this option, which is use GitHub hooks for build triggering. So you can see that this checking this option will disable regular polling, the cron for changes, and we'll try to create a GitHub hooks. But as you can see, it is required that for this that the user has admin rights, the user that triggered that, which is Musab Zayadni in my case, which is this one. And yeah, actually, I am the owner of this repo, so it's okay, it will work. All right, so yeah, let's click that and let's save it. Let's refresh that. Yeah, of course, it will not go. So from here, I, I need to close it. Close the pull request. All right, refresh. Nothing happened. Now let's reopen it and see. So let's refresh that now. Okay, the problem. Now, maybe the problem is that I didn't provide the admin list so i need to make or take my account and here copy and paste it there as an admin yeah so i am admin maybe let's check this it's okay well actually it is a good practice we are learning a lot actually while we are building the environment so let's reopen again now let's check again yeah so far so good you can see that now it has been building and it has been issued or triggered okay and if you click on it actually this time is not something like yeah please ignore that actually it's no not important but you can see that now it has been triggered and this is not just like that it has been triggered so you can see that it has a merge conflict anyway it's okay no no big deal in my case actually because this is arbitrary anyway but you can see that it has been worked correctly. So it has been triggered, but this time it has been triggered. Depends on the build request we have. So if I merge it like this, yeah, confirm the merge. It has been merged successfully. All right, so far so good. Thanks for watching.